I've seen these calibration weights for sale on eBay and I wonder just how accurate they are. Now, the problem is, I mean, these scales aren't very high resolution. These ones only go in one gram increments, but this set of scales is a high accuracy one, but you never know how accurate it is in the first place. So it's kind of, you know, without actually using some sort of industrial calibrated skill, you can't really say. But let's try them out. So this is the five gram weight. And it's coming up at 5.01 gram. That's very accurate. 10 gram weight. And that's coming at 9.98. So they're coming in, in within about uh, two hundredths. Uh, what's this one? Is this a 20 gram? 19.98. Another 20 gram weight, 19.98, and the 50 gram weight, I believe, forty nine point nine nine. That's very good. So what if we stick them all on? Uh, well, we stick, not all of them, but the, we make it up to a equivalent of about 100 grams. A hundred point zero four three four. That's very good. What about on the big scales now? I have to say the big scales are just sort of kitchen scales, but they're accurate ones, and that's showing dead on a hundred grams. And I've used these for postage for weighing packages, and when you take them down to the Royal Mail's uh, postage uh, services and you put them in their super accurate scales, they're usually absolutely spot on. Yep, that's showing dead on 100 grams. So that's uh, reassuring to notice. I guess that, you know, if it's tallying out amongst them all, then, you know, they must be fairly accurate. But, um, yeah, that's quite neat. I wonder how they actually fine-tune them. I'm guessing that the reason there's a little pip on top is the calibration uh, actually gets done by unscrewing these or something. Maybe they put these in afterwards. Supposedly you're not supposed to touch them because it leaves greasy fingerprints that adds weight. Oh well. But yeah, pretty neat. And the wee digital scales, the super accurate ones, these go down to one hundredth of a gram and it's currently displaying. It's drifted actually. Uh, oh. Uh, these um, are super accurate. They're ideal for weighing small quantities of chemicals and things like that, or, or liquids. They're, they get very accurate values, um, even from very light stuff. You can also use them for counting components, uh, which is handy. You just uh, give it a sample of uh, X number of pieces, and then, you know, literally, you can just put a sprinkle of components on it. will tell you how many are in the, in the tray, so that that's very good. Yeah, all very accurate. Hmm, yeah.